I want to talk a little bit about feed water tanks. On a simple system, we may have a feed water tank, not a deaerator, um, where we're pumping water into the boiler, but we've got to make water up into that tank. So a common method for doing that is using a trough valve. Um, it's simple, readily available, basically works like the valve in your toilet. Uh, level comes up, it shuts off. It's not complicated, it's easy to replace. But we do run into problems with them sometimes, and I'm gonna talk about two different things that we'll run into. The first one, you know, if your tank's overfilling, you may have to remove and inspect that float valve. It could have garbage in it, or <laughs> like our model here, could have rusted through, have a hole in it. Obviously, it's not gonna float like that, you're gonna overfill. But a less common or overlooked reason that tanks can overfill is because of the incoming pressure. This trough valve has a half inch valve seat. So if we look at that diameter divided in half, pi r squared gives us 0.2 square inches of surface area, our water pressure could cause us to overfill. So if we've got a modest water pressure going to that float valve, it only takes a pound of force to close it off. But if I've got a feed tank being supplied by 25 pounds or even 80 PSI, um, it may take 16 pounds of force to shut this off. So what we'll find is that we may overfill or not, depending on fluctuations in city or plant pressure. Um, so the solution to that is a pressure reducing valve. So anytime you've got a float or trough valve on a feed tank, it's really important if you have any water pressure at all to reduce that pressure down so the float can do its job.